Okay, I needed to get a helmet because I got a skateboard from Miles Skateboards. Remember when we were down and we borrowed those bikes from FLX Bikes? Well, they let us, they let us try out a skateboard that they had at the time. And that was a that was a prototype skateboard. So that one was totally prototype. They just had a couple of those in, but now now they're actually going to make one of those skateboards and and they they gave me one to hang out with for one week. I have one week with it. I need to I need to test it out and try it out as much as I can. And today today's going to be like a little first look with this with this kind of insane skateboard. I don't know much about it yet, but I saw the specs and it's it's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, it was like a, a helmet test already. Hey, also look, I got, I got new tires for the adventure van and I put a tire carrier on the back because the bigger tires didn't fit in the spare tire slot. All right, let's go test the skateboard. Also of note here is that this skateboard, I would say it's probably a little out of my league, not not that I'm not an experienced board rider, but the board that I have been riding, it's, it's nothing like this board. <laughs> So the skateboard that I had before, the one that Morgan bought me for 10,000 subscribers, is this thing, the R1 Black from Riptide. And it's, it has been a good skateboard. I've really enjoyed it. It is not in the same league as the board we're testing today, because basically this thing, I think could go like 20 something miles an hour. It had a six mile range, but mainly it had the waterborne trucks on there. So this board, this board was a fun board, but it wasn't a fast board and the range, the range wasn't great. Today's board, it's a different story. I think you'll see why I bought a helmet. <laughs> All right. So this is the Phantom from Miles Skateboards. And I don't think their Indiegogo has even launched yet. Go to the first link in the description. I think it's a, it's like a, an email. You put your email address in there and they'll notify you when it does launch. And then you could pre-order this thing. I only get to play with it for a week and then I have to wait for the production model as well. Yeah. Oh, shit. Whoa. That almost hit the camera. That would have been terrible if this door would have hit that camera. Oh man. Look at that, it doesn't even have branding on it yet. Again, totally production version of the board. It's just, it's like the five samples that they sent so they could make cool videos like this one. <laughs> oh my gosh, shut up. Oh my goodness. This is the Phantom from Miles Skateboards. Full carbon fiber body, battery built in, direct motor wheels, which is super unique. We'll, we'll talk more about these wheels in a little bit. But first, I think we should just go for a ride. Wait, let me tell you what else is in the box really quick, super quick unboxing. There will be a full, a full video on just this skateboard and like a full review after I've ridden it a bunch, but what else is in the box? Skateboard, charger, remote, cable to charge the remote. Now this is unique, so I don't know, I'm gonna find out if these actually come with the board, but on the board there's 97 millimeter wheels there's 74 A's that are on there, but in the box, hang on, check this out. In the box is these wheels by, by I wonder, the cloud wheels, all terrains. They're 105, 105 millimeter wheels. Those things, those things are insane. I'm not gonna test those today because it would mean, it would mean using the also included tool to swap out the wheels and I'm, I'm not gonna do that today. Today is a first look of the actual board. It has the 97 millimeter wheels on there. They're 74A, so they should be decently comfortable to ride, but these, 
these cloud wheels. Let me get one out. Check that thing out. So you can see the difference in size right there. The cloud wheels are they're bigger, but they're also a little softer, and they do have all terrain on them. So these are 97 millimeter wheels that are on there. These are 105 millimeter. I am excited to test these out, but today, today we're just gonna test out the board as is out of the box. All right, to get this thing set up, I don't have any instructions in here either because it's it's pre-production, so I might have to call them. But hopefully, hopefully it's an easy setup. We'll see. Oh, the remote was already paired to the board. Well, that was a very easy setup. <laughs> All right, well, let's go ride then. I've gone 1.1 miles so far and my leg is already getting so tired because this thing is so fast that I have to like really lean into my back leg because it's putting that much power out. Woo! My goodness, I did a total of 5.2 miles all around Carlsbad and and this thing, it's kind of amazing. Before we end the first look of this phantom board, let's just burn through the specs really quick so we have all those out there. This thing is a fully, fully carbon fiber deck. It is 31 and a half inches long, it is 10 inches wide, and it's got a drop deck. So if you can see, see how the deck is actually lower than where the trucks are. That's called a drop deck. It gets your center of gravity a little bit lower. You really feel like you're in the trucks as you're moving with it. And this board has a total weight of 19.5 pounds, which is on the heavier end, or it feels pretty heavy for a board of this size. But let's, let's dive into why, because this thing has an 1100 watt dual direct drive system, which, which I don't see or I don't think I've seen on another board. At least not like another manufacturer board. I've seen people do this, but not, not from the manufacturer. So basically what this is, is it's like it's a hub motor. It's all the power, all the torque of a hub motor, but instead of going through a belt system, the motor is mounted directly to the wheel. We'll get into more of why that's so important later, but, but yeah, 1100 watt dual direct drive system and the battery. This whole thing in here is the battery and it's 432 watt hours. And together, that drivetrain along with this 432 watt hour battery gives this board a top speed of 30 miles an hour and a range of 30 miles. 30 miles an hour is ridiculously fast for an electric skateboard and 30 miles is also absurd. I went 5.2 miles today and I was exhausted. My back leg is still is still real tired. So that 30 miles of range for me means multiple days without having to charge my skateboard. I can take this thing out, at, theoretically that's six days at five miles a piece, but I ride, I ride pretty harsh on this thing. I kinda go, I really like to go fast. So let's even say that under really harsh conditions, we drop that all the way down to something like 20 miles. That's still four days between charges, which is, which is awesome. And again, compare all this to something that you might know, like a Boosted Mini X. The Boosted Mini X with the extended range battery that gets 14 miles because it only has a 267 watt hour battery in it. This huge, huge massive battery is more akin to something like the Evolve GTR that also shares a full range of 30 miles, but only goes 24 miles per hour at top speed. So this guy is seeing 30 miles per hour and 30 miles of range, and the Evolve GTR, like the craziest electric skateboard out there, sees a top speed of 24 miles an hour with the 30 mile range. So really what we're looking at here is a board the size of a Boosted Mini X, but with the performance of an Evolve GTR. My full review of this board after the week will be, will be coming soon, but I'm gonna be very sad to give it back. I have to give this back later this week and I, I don't want to now. 
Again, first link in the description if you guys want to get in on the pre-orders for this thing. It's going to go through a whole Indiegogo campaign, but FLX and Miles Skateboards, they are pro at all that stuff. So it's not one of those Indiegogo campaigns where you're like, I'm going to buy this thing and hopefully they'll make it one day. These are already in production. They're making them either way. They're just using Indiegogo as that pre-order platform. So again, first thing in the description, put your email address in there. That's going to get you signed up so that they'll let you know as soon as the Indiegogo goes live. And I'm... Uh, I'm gonna go ride this thing around some more. Shake out my leg a little bit and keep riding. I'll see you guys soon.